Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Katherine. So in today's video, I recreated a look that I had in my last video. I thought it was really cool and pretty for spring and summer and also kind of a statement look with the yellow. Um, yellow is super on trend right now, so I thought how awesome is it that it also is like a cute look, you know? So uh, I created this look for you guys. All I did were the eyes today. I didn't do the face because it's basically just the same old, same old. I will have everything I use, including the stuff that's on my face, in the description bar down below. So without further ado, let's get started. So I am starting with a uh, primed and set eye. I primed using my Urban Decay Primer Potion in the shade Eden, and then just set it with some of the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. This look is so, so, so simple, like so simple. So I'm gonna show you guys how to get this really, really easy summer look. Um, so the palette that I used for this look is the Calm Before the Storm palette from Kylie Cosmetics. I wish that the packaging was the same, like I wish this looked like this, but whatever. So this is the Calm Before the Storm palette, and this is what it looks like. Um, so what's really cool about this palette is that you could create like this sort of look with any of these colors. Like we have a matte pink, a sparkly pink, matte yellow, you know, sparkly yellow, so on and so forth, all the way into the purple. So it's really cool that you can kind of create any sort of look you want with it. I've done <clears throat> the pink, I've done a pink look, obviously yellow, and I think I did the blue, but I didn't like the blue very much because it was almost, it was too white on my eyelid and it looked kind of, it looked a little weird, I'm not gonna lie. So the first shade I'm gonna go in with is this color right here, which is called um, Sunshine. And so what I'm doing is just applying this in my transition area. And then next, I'm just gonna switch brushes. So this was a pretty large fluffy brush, which I like using for like my initial transition shade. And then I have this smaller one. This is a NYX 16, this is a Morphe M433. This brush, as you can see, is just a little bit um, smaller in, uh, it's not as tall. So it's good for kind of getting a little bit more of a defined look, but still blown out. So I'm dipping back into that exact same shade. And I'm just applying this a little bit um, lower just so we get a little bit more concentration of the eyeshadow there and therefore make it look a little bit deeper like we have multiple eyeshadows going on when in reality we just got one and of course you can use since this look is so I don't want to say basic but it, it I mean it's two eyeshadows and I mean it's pretty easy so you can use any yellow eyeshadow that you want to create this look for sure. I'm trying to think of other palettes that have yellow eyeshadows. I know that the Too Faced Peanut Butter and Honey palette has a yellow eyeshadow. I know ColourPop has a yellow eyeshadow. So you don't have to have this palette, but I think this palette presents the opportunity for this look in a very unique sort of way, and I like that. I just recently sort of figured out my favorite way to apply a sparkly or glittery eyeshadow without it having too much fallout and also so it gets the most maximum um, opacity and um, glitter finish as possible. So to get this look I like to use the Too Faced Glitter Glue. I've never tried any other glitter glue besides this one but I've heard really good things about the one from NYX. So what I like to do is just put it on my finger and I just put it on my eyelid just kind of tapping it wherever I want my glitter eyeshadow to adhere to. So right on just like my mobile lid, I suppose. So then while your finger is still sticky, pull the palette up, you're gonna want to dip into the color you're gonna use on your eye. So you'll see it sticks to your finger really, really nicely. And then you're just gonna start putting it onto your eyelid. Oops. So next what I would do is just go back in with that matte yellow shade and just sort of blend um, out, the, out the glittery eyeshadow into the matte so that it's not such a harsh um, you know, transition sort of situation. 
And then just go in with your big eyeshadow brush, your big blending brush, and just blend out the whole look. Okay, so next we're gonna add our eyeliner. So I like to use the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. It's what I've been using for years. I just think it just works so, so well. It stays all day. It is really easy to draw on and it's got like a really nice, fine little tip to it. So it, um, I don't know, just draws on the line really nicely and I love it. I love it, okay. So for my eyeliner, it's just very basic. I almost don't even wanna do it on camera because I'm so bad about doing it on camera. Like I cannot do it. So I'm gonna try to, but if it cuts out, it's cause it was out of focus or something. <laughs> For the highlights, I will be using the highlighter in the shade Full Moon from the Physicians Formula um, Butter Palette, which I am obsessed with. I still have been using it every single day. Like, it's just so good. So I'm taking the shade Full Moon, which is that really, really pretty kind of yellow toned um, gold, or I don't know. Anyway, it goes really well with this look specifically. And I'm just gonna pack this on to my inner corner. This is the same highlighter I have on my face as well. I'm really into like matching my makeup, like very monochromatic. I think it looks really cool, especially if you're doing kind of a statement look like this one. Everything just kind of matching. I don't know, I feel like it's, it's, a, it's a vibe, you know, it's cool looking. Okay. So that is that. Let's go ahead and curl our lashes and add some falsies just to kind of maximize the really cool effect we got going on. And I'm just gonna use the Butter London Double Decker Lashes Mascara. And for lashes today, I'm using the Ivor Lux Lashes in the style Baroque. I'll show you what they look like on my lashes. Okay, so this is what the lashes look like on my eyes. So to finish up the look, we're gonna go back into the shade Sunshine. Um, which is the yellow shade and we're gonna just do a little bit of a lower lash line like i said this look is so easy it literally only uses two colors we don't even use a different color on the lower lash line we just keep it all the same so going back in with the shade sunshine i'm just starting on the outer corner and working my way to the inner corner I'm gonna do the other eye off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, so the eyes are all finished and this is what they look like. I added some lower lash mascara as well if you were wondering. So next I'm gonna go in with a lip. I think a look like this calls for a nude lip, but what look doesn't call for a nude lip? So I'm gonna use the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade uh, Tiramisu. I'm obsessed with this lip. It is so pretty and the NYX butter glosses are hands down the best glosses from the drugstore. All right guys, so this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed it and maybe you're inspired to play with more color for spring and summer. As always, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in next week's video. Bye.